Hey guys, what is up? Mike here, Laker Talk. Let's talk Lakers basketball. So Dell Demps gets fired today. Let's talk about that. So it's been a week since my last video. A lot has gone down since then. I've been busy handling some personal stuff. Um, what? Trade deadline came in when we talked about that. We went to Philly and lost. We went to Atlanta and lost. We entered the All-Star break 28 and 29. A long shot to make the playoffs based on, I think, Vegas' odds and things like that. Um, realistically, when you look at our schedule, we got a pretty tough schedule, second half of the year. We are long shots to make the playoffs. It's a real possibility we won't make the playoffs. But my whole thoughts on the Lakers first half, our organization, Magic and Rob, the job they're doing, this whole LeBron James experiment, that's for another video. Right now, I want to just get my... Thoughts on the story that broke today. Dell Demps getting fired as GM of New Orleans Pelicans. How does that impact us? And just our thoughts going forward with this Anthony Davis situation. Crazy, 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 crazy. Dell Demps gets fired today. Whoa, Janowski breaks the news. Uh, everybody, you know, shocked by that. Like, whoa. Karma, 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 right? Let's rewind a little bit. So the, the, the trade saga happened. Pelicans played us. Dell Demps didn't even communicate with us. Magic showed his cards. We already talked about that, how I, I feel he played it wrong. Dell Demps and the New Orleans, or New Orleans Pelicans uh, ownership was on the same page, apparently. Even to this day, even as he gets fired, Wojnowski is saying that the Pelicans still don't want to deal with the Lakers, all right? They're adamant about bringing in another GM, which they brought in Danny Ferry as an interim GM to work out, you know, that Anthony Davis situation going forward. And they saying like they adamant, they don't want to deal with the Lakers. So the ownership and Dale Dems was on the same page, right? So that happened, that went. Anthony Davis says he wants to play out his season Whatever, it's an awkward situation. He comes in, have a good game, the first game, but after that, it just looks terrible, right? It's like he doesn't want to be there. They're awkward and whatnot. Um, and so that happened. Now, they played their last game of the first half yesterday against OKC. Mind you, they actually win and beat a good team, playoff team in OKC. And... Anthony Davis and, and Julius Randle scores 33, 11, and 6. That's for another video. Another gem that was drafted by Mitch Kupchak and let go for nothing by Magic and Rob. Thank you, Magic. And um, I know a lot of you saying Randle wanted out. He was disgruntled. Guess what? That's because of how we treated him. He balled out last year. He was our best player last year. Magic could have repaired that relationship and said, you know what, Julius, we treated you wrong. We know we want to make, you know, make amends and, and but just kind of like kicked him out, you know, didn't want to pay him $9 million a year on two over two years. Come on now. <clears throat> we could have used Julius Randle this year. Um, so they beat OKC midway in that game. Anthony Davis is playing around 16 minutes at that point. Apparently tweaks his shoulder. Walks out. Ends up leaving the stadium with Rich Paul, his agent, who's there. And no one knows about it. Del Demps doesn't know about it, apparently. Uh, Coach Alvin Gentry doesn't know about it. And so the ownership finds out about this ordeal. And it's just... I guess irate at the whole thing and fires Dell Demps. Like, look at the situation you got going on. You're not doing a good job in terms of managing that situation. Dell Demps, in my opinion, <laughs> to be honest with you, you can call it karma or whatnot. He was in he was in a bad place. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. Dealing with the Lakers. He was, I guess, on the same page as the ownership, but what can he do in terms of handling that Anthony Dave situation? There's nothing he can do. So they're irate. They fired Dell Demps. And that's that. They bring in Danny Ferry as the interim head coach, uh, GM. And Danny Ferry has some ties with Greg Popovich. 
And with the New Orleans Pelicans and the way how how messed up that organization is right now, there's no way if Andrew Butts that they're dealing with the Lakers in the offseason. So we as Laker fans, we can kind of just we should just put that aside, Anthony Davis aside going forward. He's not going to be dealt to the Lakers in the offseason, which is going to happen in the next few months. Um, and uh, the only shot we have right now at Anthony Davis is next summer in June 2020 when he becomes a free agent. Um, in my opinion, Anthony Davis will get traded. I think Danny Ferry is going to try to make a deal with Danny Ainge and the Boston Celtics and try to land Jason Tatum and some picks uh, to bring Jason Tatum uh, and somebody, probably Gordon Hayward, you know, picking up his big contract um, to New Orleans. And I think Danny Ainge is going to take a, a chance on um, Anthony Davis. My opinion, I think that's going to happen sooner rather than later. I think they're going to try to re-sign Kyrie Irving and try to match him up with Anthony Davis and see how that goes. Anthony Davis said he doesn't want to be there. I think Danny Ainge is still going to take a chance on him. And I think Danny Ainge is going to play out that full season with Anthony Davis on the team. And uh, we're not going to get a run at Anthony Davis until 2020. Now, in my opinion, I actually like that because going through all this, I've now, I'm, I'm kind of over and done with this LeBron James experiment uh, in a sense like this. I'm kind of pissed off at, you know, and I'm not pissed off, but it's just getting tired. The fact that LeBron James really saves himself. You saw this Atlanta game. Trey Young was driving by. Trey Young, a rookie, was just getting anything he wanted by LeBron James <clears throat> and kind of toying with this. And LeBron James, you can say that he's he's coming off the injury. He doesn't want to push it too hard, of course, right? But we're out of the playoffs. We're in Atlanta. At some point, we're going to have to get LeBron James, the superstar, to play superstar role and kind of put us on our back here and there. I mean, he can sleepwalk through a triple-double, but that's not the point. The point is we need a star to get us over the hump sometimes. And he's not doing that. He's saving himself. What did he save himself for? The playoff? Well, we're out of playoff contention, so I don't know what he's saving himself for, right? So I'm getting I'm getting to that point where I'm kind of over the LeBron James experiment, and I'm like, I want to save these young guys. I don't want to get rid of Alonzo. I don't want to get rid of Kuzma right now. I don't want to get rid of Brandon Ingram. I don't want to get rid of, yeah, just, I don't want to get rid of our three core young guys just yet actually at all at you know at any time soon for anybody i don't know you know outside of you know somebody some superstar why would we get rid of all these guys at this point right and so now we got anthony davis out of the picture for the next year you know and we're not going to make the playoffs What's what? So what is LeBron James doing? You know. So I mean, having said that, I can't go too crazy. We're not healthy. We get Lonzo back coming out of this All Star break. We're gonna have Kuzma. We're gonna have LeBron um, fully ready to go and the squad ready to go minus Zubats. Um, and uh, hopefully we see how that goes. I was checking the schedule. We got about 25 games left. We're 20 and 29 right now. I got us winning about, I'll got us going to close to 50% or 500. And out of that 25 games, I got us winning around 12 games. That put us around 40 wins. That put us at 40 wins, 40 and 42. I don't think that gets us in the playoffs. I think we missed the playoffs by two, three games, to be honest with you. Uh, if we come out and we go on like a six game winning streak here and there and we win 17, 18 games out of this next 25, it's a shot that we get in to be determined based on how we're playing, based on, you know, if guys can stay healthy and if guys can, like Kuzma says in some of these interviews, if we, they can get the fun back, but 
to be determined because um, a couple of losses here and there, I think is going to, people are going to start mailing it in. Like, you know what? Summer's here. I'm ready to go. Uh, and, and having said all that, I'm not happy with how Magic and Rob has run the front office. I think there's a lot of like uncertainty in the front office, a lot of distrust in the front office, a lot of uneasiness in the front office. They've done nothing since the off, since the uh, trade deadline to kind of like let me know that, you know, they really trust and care about any of these guys. So I think long shot, these guys know they got long careers in the NBA. And at some point they're going to get tired of the, you know, you know, kissing up to magic and stuff and be like, you know what? Trade me then. That's how they're going to be. And be like, screw you. I run my life. And they're going to get to that point, I think. And Magic, I think, is just doing, doing, I don't know. I don't, I don't think he's doing a good job. A lot of people are saying, give him some time, Mike. Give him some time. Give him some time. I don't think he's doing a good job. Like I said, that's it for this video. I'm not going to go on too long, but I got a lot of other topics to talk about. This LeBron James experiment, what I'm thinking about this. The job that Magic and Rob is doing. Guys, I want to hold on to. I'm going to hold on to Lonzo and just what I think, really, you know, going forward over the next second half of the season. Anyway, that's it for right now. Dell Dems fired. What that means about the Lakers, AD ain't coming until 2020. Forget about him. Let's focus on our squad. Let's get back to seeing if we can win some games and maybe make a playoff push. I don't know. I'm not too hopeful. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing. As always, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at MikeSportsLA. Holla at your boy. Peace.